Ramchang sukan tikon sang stay ni kita lupa video na. Sekarang kita nak semang komentar lah. Nak semang nak cari na. Dah kena nak dalih. Ang ni jauh video tu nak semang na. Mungsong pati mo money prostitution ni kita nak semang na raba. Ya money pre or boss ada. Agar sa kemukan kepah. Di tang di tang agar sa kemuk chi. Country rang chi. Kepang jok. Baral orang jok. Tak kira sugra tak kepah. Dah kena na UN Council of Geneva mitong ah human rights ni kita mo. Wanu ba bisong ni representative sokang jok. Mitai ni kita ba, ada kuki ni kita ba mo. Wah video o bisong wah mitai o mai tak kaba, o bos tarang kuah gana. Nampi interesting mo. Nasi mang bak nabo, nasi mang nangai ye video ko nate ya. Jol tolih video ko nasi mang nate ya, nasi mang video ko ni bo. Good evening everyone. At 11 p.m. on May 3rd, my mother, who was 77 years old at the time, I chung guite. My sister-in-law, 13-year-old niece, five-year-old twin boy and girl and two-year-old nephew were attacked by an evil and misguided Meite Hindu mob. They ran a few doors down to a Meite Hindu neighbor's house to hide in his dirty, dingy storehouse. There were so many mosquitoes, my mother says. The children were so good. They did not cry or make a noise. They huddled there for over three hours as mayhem continued around them. They heard the sounds of stones, sticks, rocks, cars and gas cylinders bursting into flames. Angry mobs had burnt their church, a Baptist church, earlier that evening and were attacking and burning their neighbors' houses and had turned to their house. They escaped with their lives and the clothes they were wearing while our beautiful family home was burned and looted. The mob even came back to burn the house again the next day on May 4th. To date, over 7,000 Kukizomi tribal homes have been burnt and destroyed. The attack on my mother was the attack on Paiteveng in Imphal, India. In Dallas, Texas, where I live, it was 1.30 p.m. in the afternoon when my sister texted me, have you talked to mom? I had no idea. I had no idea this fight had been brewing for a while, that our people had been fighting for our people, our lives, our lands. I'm ashamed to say that if my home had not been burnt that night, I might still not have been drawn into the, this fight. Today is the 19th of September. 2023. It has been 139 days since this crazy evil mob attacked my family home and my mother. They burned and stole not just everything my family owned in that house, but all our books, our photo albums, our memories, our refuge and our peace of mind. It is now 76 years since India gained its independence and formed a fledgling nation, a sovereign socialist, secular, democratic republic. Every single day, I get madder and madder at the inaction and utter ineptitude of the Indian government and at the US and other Western governments and intergovernmental organizations for their inaction. I'm angry, frustrated, humiliated, and sad. In 139 days, over 6,500 complaints have been filed with the police. These complaints are a desperate plea by people following process and the laws of the land, while the government and the police itself are, are not following the rule of law and have instead allowed the rule of mob to run rampant like a virus in, in Manipur and throughout India. Over 300 plus people have been killed. The government of India does not acknowledge the full body count. Many bodies have not been returned to their families. Many women have been raped and gang raped. Over 360 churches have been burned and two synagogues. Over 60,000 people have been displaced. The Manipur State Police has allowed its arms and ammunitions to be looted by the Meite terrorists. The Chief Minister of Manipur openly sides with the Meite terrorists. No state, central, or international aid has reached my people. The only aid we have received is from each other, which is our tribal way, 
and from many good people all over the world. Those are just statistics. These are real people who have been impacted. On the evening of May 3rd, Chingboy Paipi, who is a pastor's wife in Chicago, her elderly parents, both of whom are heart patients, had to hide in the dark, in the fields, in the open fields, along with her brother and her sister's families in Impal, because the same large Meite Hindu mob had burned the church just next to their house. They stayed there all night and managed to walk to an army camp in the morning. They stayed there for over a week before they were transported to safety by the Indian Army. On May 4th, Mrs. Gozavum, 57, a Manipur government officer and her son, Mr. Golal Sang, 27, were pulled out of their car by a Hindu mob of about 200 vigilantes and beaten to death. They were trying to get to safety to an army camp. Her daughter-in-law was beaten, had to be admitted to the ICU with multiple head injuries and fractured wrists and hands, fingers. Her daughter, sister, cousin, and a one-year-old grandson escaped with their lives after being sheltered by a Hindu family from the mob. They escaped in the trunk of their car after a day or two had passed. On May 4th, Mr. Vungzagin Balte, a Kukizomi BJP MLA, an advisor to the Chief Minister of Manipur, was beaten and left to die on his way back from a meeting with the Chief Minister. His security detail abandoned him and his driver at the hands of the mob. On May 5th, Florence Hangxing and Olivia Chong Loi, two Kukizomi tribal Christian women working at a car wash in Imphal, were attacked, gagged, and locked in a room from 5 to 7 p.m. They were tortured and gang raped. When the room was finally opened after 7 p.m., they were dead, their bodies mutilated. The room was filled with a horrifying mixture of blood, flesh, and hair. On May 6th, Mrs. Tiandam Bai Pei, a 45-year-old widow and mother of two, was killed. Her head, hands, and legs chopped off. She was also burnt with her house. On June 4th, a seven-year-old Kukizomi boy, Ton Singh, his mother, Mina, and her friend, Lydia, were burnt alive in an ambulance on the way to the hospital by the mob. The mob was led by Mira Paibi women. They thought they would be safe as the mother, Ton Singh's mother, Mina, is a Meite woman. On June 10th, Mrs. Dim Kohoi, 65, was shot dead while she was praying inside her village church. She was among the three shot by Meite militants wearing Manipur police uniforms and armored vehicles, in armored vehicles. On July 2nd, Mr. David Thiek Mar, 30 years old, one of, was one of three people captured. His two friends were released, but because he belongs to the Mar tribe, which is one of the tribes under the Kuki umbrella, he was tortured and beheaded. His hands and legs were chopped off. His head was displayed on a bamboo fence. His body parts were thrown into a burning building. The killers posted a video of the se severed head on social media with a voice in the background commenting, this is the face of a cookie. You look beautiful. You look beautiful. We've been trying to catch you people for a long time. The voice ended with an expletive. On July 6th, Mrs. Don Ngai Ching, 62, was shot and killed outside a school in Imphal. She was mentally ill, often seen wandering the streets of Imphal, and had refused to leave Imphal feeling she was safe. She was not. On July 19th, a video surfaced of two Kukizomi women being paraded naked, molested, and gang raped on May 4th by Meite mob. These women and their families had run to the police for refuge, but the police handed them over to the mob. The young brother of one woman was beaten to death while trying to protect his sister. The husband of the other woman is an Indian army officer. My name is Florence Nyanghoi Lun Lo. I'm 
a daughter of the Guite clan. The Guite clan belongs to the Paite tribe. The Paite are one of the Zo community tribes, the ones they're calling Kuki. We are Zo, Kuki, Tado, Paite, Mar, Gangte, Baipei, Simte, and a few more tribes. We ask for peace and justice and to be allowed to practice our religion and our customs without persecution. We ask for our right to self-determination and self-governance without fear of mob vig vigilantism or discrimination and attacks from our own government officials. We are so united. Thank you, Wissam. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. My name is uh, Kuraizam Atoba, and I am a Meite. The so-called Meite Hindu that people are around here are uh, talking about. So as this is a platform of United Nations, uh, I think everyone has a right to know the real facts and the truth that we need to address what's happening in Manipur. And I've been listening to all the uh, panel members who have been narrating the stories. And I won't narrate on rhetorics. I will come out with facts and figures and digitally proved records and data which nobody can't manipulate in any ways. So first of all, when we talk about the Hindu majority issues, we as a Maite in Manipur is not a majority. For the rest of India, it's a different case. When it comes to northeastern states of India, Maite is not a majority anymore. We represent hardly around 8.5 lakhs population. And the Christians in Manipur is around 12 lakhs. They comprise of around more than 53, 54 percent. Sorry, and I, I don't want to interrupt you, but if you could just be as short as possible. We should have three minutes for the room. No, so but if you could we need to clarify the facts, because yes. if as you are narrating possible. in the wrong context, we need to check it out. Or shall, shall we go on with the wrong facts? We continue this debate and discussion. What's your intention then? We, we need to check it out. Number one, the religious card is never an issue in the uh, Manipur violence, because Mete never targeted Christians. We have, Mete also has a Christian population of around, which is 45% of what the cookie populations are, Mete Christians. And they missed to inform that Mete churches are being completely vandalized and raised in the cookie dominated areas in Churachanpur, right on the first day before the target begin in Imphal. Okay, sir. That needs to be acknowledged. Thank you. Thank you and for here sharing. is the sequence of events. I would be grateful if we can meet after this and take the document and have the conversation. Sure. But if you don't have any let more me, questions, let I me would need up. to interrupt you because we have two minutes before we need to close this event. And I need to give the final word to this panel. So I need to interrupt you just because we have one more minute, uh, the lady from the United Nations. So we have to... Uh, basically conclude the event yes thank last, you last thank part. you thank last you for question. sharing no no last we will, question we will meet after the event but allow me the let the talk. audience know let the audience know yes. why are you why are we because completely we neglecting the, the issue of narco terrorism we need to have the, the un odyssey has already reported chura chandpur has a, become a hub of new golden triangle Okay. Poppy cultivations we, has we already... We need to have the concluding remarks from the panel and then conclude the Yeah, event. before that, we need to know the facts. That's why I'm Th trying to intervene. You. Thank you, and we would welcome this. It's just that... It's completely uh, one-sided discussion, so I, I don't want it. It should be neutral. We are, we are not a one-sided discussion. Then you should I mean, have we, the patience to listen to me. We're presented thoroughly, and there's a lot that we can provide after this event. Thank you. Almost so, 19 Maite villages. Like, I would like now... 19 to... Maite villages completely 100% evicted, destroyed. Okay, all the religious minorities and all the ethnic minorities and everyone in India. And, I, and yet again, I want to appreciate the panel for being here, for sharing, and for all the members of our coalition representing uh, various communities, religious and ethnic communities, for being part of this event. And again, once again, thank you for Ms. Al Salim and thank you also for Mr. Turkel, who were present with us and shared with us on the situation in India. Thank you so much, and until the next event. So, you must continue as Mohammed Teller, Nakim and Smanko, and Molay has a very small subscribe Kabomo, and again, I'm Paco Boranco, Tangapono, Nino Masonata, Sansa Simonco, Motella.